Ice cream lovers, look, we get a question all the time about colour and types of packaging. And again, we're in Brisbane, Australia, doing a little bit of a series here on what's available grocery store-wise. The good people down here at the IGA, Independent Grocers of Australia, in Mount Cotton, Queensland, have allowed us open access, all stages open, no holes barred into their ice cream cases. And one of the things that you'll see as you kind of walk up and down here, now again, this is grocery store ice cream, but it also applies to how your ice cream is perceived in your store, is the color and the type of packaging. And it's quite evident when you walk alongside a lot of these pint containers to have a look at the different colors and the different concepts of packaging. And as you kind of have a look back and forward here at the uh, pint aisle are a couple of things that kind of jump out to me at least. Connoisseur, Connoisseur is a brand here that really gets a lot of traction and everything is in black. Black is a perception of kind of quality, it's high end, it stands out. All of the logos uh, and the images really pop on a black package. Looks really, really good. They do this in uh, all of their pints and their quarts. I also do it over here in their popsicle section as well. Look at all of these pints here, you'll kind of see that, again, really stands out and that image or the feeling of quality and luxury really stands out when it comes to the black packaging. Lick is a relatively new brand out here in Australia. They've gone for more of the um, kind of cardboard, opaque look to it and, you know, there's a perception of being a little bit more earth friendly. Again, the perception is there, these containers aren't biodegradable, but this gives you kind of a feeling of the old, maybe local scoop shop here. Bespoke would be a word that comes to mind. Handcrafted, again, I really like the look of it. It does stand out, even though it could, looks kind of generic, it does stand out in the grocery store aisle. Some of these brands that use their predominant color in their logo, uh, you've got Gun Dowring here, which predominantly use this blue container. So it's really easy to recognize in the ice cream store. You come down here with a grocery store, you come down here, you know exactly what you're looking for. Everything's in blue. I really like it. And then finally, you've got the classic uh, see-through. This is a gelata, gel, gelista. It is basically, it almost just looks like a mason jar. This is plastic, it's not glass. But again, the idea is that it looks a little bit more high-end, a little bit more quality, and you can kind of see what you're getting with a lot of these different products. Particularly when you look at some of these ones that are highly variegated. So here you've got your peanut butter and chocolate and caramel swirl. Just look at that swirlity swirl action. Again, you've got to look at what kind of talks to you and your brand. But I will tell you that customers certainly make decisions based on packaging and what products look like, whether they're visible, whether they're not, whether they're connecting with your kind of brand. So keep that in mind. I'm interested in what you are doing with your pint containers and what color you're kind of leaning to and why you did it. We'd love to hear about that on the comments down below. While you're down there, click, click, click on subscribe. We'd love to have you in our community uh, of uh, people that we kind of talk to nearly every day on this YouTube channel. As we always say, well, we don't always say it. Look, go to scoopschool.com. Everything is there. We kind of talk about all of this and much, much more in our courses. Uh, but look, as we do always say at the end of our videos, keep on scooping. See you in the next video.